Hi, I'm Andy. I'm Keith. And we're both instructors at the National Driving Centre. Today we're going to talk about the show me, tell me question sheet. Okay. I'm going to be the examiner and Keith here is going to be the student. Keith, doesn't feel right. Let's get into character. Ah, that's better. Let's do this. Hello, I'm Keith. And I'm Andy. Today we're going to talk about the Show Me Tell Me's for category D1, the minibus. These Show Me Tell Me's come before you drive and before you reverse. Okay, if you like the video, please hit that subscribe button. Okay, so what we're going to look at first is the wheels and tyres on the vehicle, okay? Really important that they're in good top condition. Okay, so Keith, can you show us and explain what checks we'd make on the tyres, please? I'll check my tyre to make sure it's at least one millimetre across three quarters of the tyre, 75% all the way around the tyre. There's no bulges, there's no cuts, there's no wire cords. I could also have a visual look to make sure it's inflated correctly. If I was unsure, I could use a tyre gauge. If I was doing the rear tyres, there's two tyres at the rear, so I'd check both the tyres. Okay, great. So moving on from that, what about, can you explain what we check for on the wheel nuts, please? On the wheel nuts, obviously making sure they're butted up against the wheel, showing no clean metal or rust. I could also give them a tap to make sure they didn't sound tinny. If they got wheel nut indicators, I'll just make sure they're lined up properly. Brilliant. Okay, so moving on from that one now, we want to check the spray suppression system on the vehicle. So that'd be our mud guards, anything like that. So can we just check those for me, mm. please? Yep. I'll make sure it was nice and secure, nice and clean, covers full, full width for the tyre and not in contact with the tyre at any point. I'll do this all around the vehicle. Okay, so now Keith, as part of our daily check, can we make sure that all the doors uh, open and operate properly, please. I'll just make sure my door opens and closes. I could do the same for this door also. I can walk around the side and I can check my side door. Open and closes. Okay, so now what we're going to move on to is some of the information we need to know about the vehicle. Okay, so in this case, we're going to talk about the unladen weight. So Keith, can you point out and show us the unladen weight, please? Yeah, the unladen weight on this vehicle is just here. On this particular vehicle, it's 2,682 kg. Okay, great, brilliant. Okay, so now, moving on to a more um, safety aspect of the vehicle, can we check the body panels, please? I'll just be checking to make sure all the body panels are nice and secure. I'll do this all the way around the vehicle, making sure there's no sharp objects protruding. Okay, brilliant. So now we're going to look at some of the visual aids, okay? We need to make sure that they're nice and secure, nice and clean. So for this, I'm going to get Keith to check the mirrors. Keith, can you check the mirrors part of your daily routine? I can check my mirrors, just make sure they're nice and secure, nice and clean, showing no cracks, make sure they give me good visibility of the road. I do this both times. Okay, so talking more about our visual aids now, Keith, can you check the condition of the windscreen? I'll check my windscreen just to make sure it's nice and clean, there's no cracks, there's no mascots, and it'll give me good visibility of the road. Okay, brilliant. So, talking about visibility, we also need to make sure that our wipers are in good condition. So, Keith, as part of your daily routine, can you check the condition of your wipers, please? Yep. Let's check my wipers, just pull them out. Let's make sure there's no splits, there's no tears, they're nice and clean. Same for this side, there's no splits, no tears, it's nice and clean. Okay, great. So, now what we're going to talk about are the levels on the vehicle. Remember, you'll get asked maybe one, maybe two of these, okay? That'll be the oil, the coolant, and the screen wash. For the purposes of this video, I'm going to get Keith to check all three and explain when we will check the oil. So Keith, can you check the levels for me, please? I can check my cooler, which is here. I'll just make sure it's in between the minimum and maximum. I could also check my screen wash just by topping it up so it comes out the top. My oil, I could check my oil when the vehicle's on a level ground and it's nice and cool. I'll pull the dipstick out, wipe it, pull it back in, and make sure it's in between the minimum and the maximum. Okay, so now we're going to move on to a couple of questions regarding uh, safety of the passengers, really, on the vehicle, and that is the extinguisher and the first aid kit. So, Keith, can you show me where the first aid kit and the fire extinguisher are, please? Yeah. 
In this vehicle, the first aid kit is positioned just here and our fire extinguisher is under the seat. Great. Okay, so now we're gonna move inside the vehicle. Okay, we need some, to make some checks from inside. So Keith, can you tell me what checks you make before and after starting the vehicle, please? I make sure my handbrake was on, I make sure it was in neutral. And before starting the vehicle, I make sure all my lights come on and then go off again. Okay, Keith, so now we wanna check that the power steering's working. So please, can you show me and tell everyone how we would check the power steering's working on the vehicle? Okay, just turn the handbrake on, make sure it's in neutral. Turn the ignition on to one, make sure the lights come on and go off again. Before I start the vehicle, I just put a little bit of pressure to the steering wheel, and when I start it, it should go nice and free. If I was rolling slowly down the road, I can just turn the steering wheel slightly to make sure it's no notches, it's nice and smooth. Okay, good. Now I need to know where the emergency cutoff switch is for the vehicle, please. On this vehicle, it's the key. Okay, so now we're going to move on to some of the important information that we need to know as drivers, okay? So first off, what I want you to do, Keith, is just explain what we check for on the taco. Now on the taco, I'll make sure it's got enough paper in it. I could also check for the sticker to say it's been serviced and calibrated every two and six years. Okay, great. And now we need to know the height and the speed limit, okay? These are really, really important. Okay, I can find my vehicle dimensions up here. My height is 2.4 and my speed limiter is up here, which is 60 mile an hour. I can test that on some dual carriageways or a motorway. Great, okay, so if we flip back to where we looked at visual aids, okay, what we want to do now is make sure that our washers and wipers work. We know our wipers are in good condition, but we need to know they're working, okay? So can you show me how you clean the windscreen using the washers and wipers? Turn my mission on. And I'll just work my wipers and washers to make sure they're working correctly. Okay, great. And now moving on to the demister. Can we set the windscreen to demist, please? Just turn that to windscreen and then turn my heater on. Okay, so now we need to check some of the audible systems. It could be the reverse, the horn, or any other systems you have on the vehicle. For the purposes of this, we're just going to check the horn. So Keith, can you check that the horn's working, please? <laughs> Great, okay, so now what we're gonna do is check all our lights, okay? You will be asked, maybe one, maybe two, it could be the fog lights, the indicators, anything like that. But for the, again, for the purposes of the video, we're gonna do all the light systems, okay? So Keith, can you check that all our lights are working, but also can you explain when we would use the fog lights? Okay, I'll turn all my lights on. Side lights, dip beam, rear fog, also my main beam and my hazards. I'll put my rear fog light on when visibility is less than 100 meters. I just check my indicator, make sure it's nice and make sure it's nice and on. Let's give them all a little tap, front spot. And the same on this side, front spot. Walking down the side of the vehicle, indicator, it's working. Uh, marker light, let's make sure it's nice and different. Nice and secure. I'll come to the back of the vehicle, let's check all my lights are working. Our side lights are working, indicators are working, rear fog's working. I can check my brake lights by backing it up to a wall, checking for a friction, asking for assistance. Good. Okay, great. So while we're here, can we also check the condition of the reflectors, please? I'm going to check my reflectors, just make sure they're nice and clean and they're uh, visible. Same on this side, it's present and it's nice and clean. Okay, so that was the show me, tell me for the category D1. Okay, we hope you found this video useful. You can watch the uh, D1 reverse down here. And the category D CPC down here. Remember, the category D CPC is the same as the category D1. Okay. If you liked it, hit that subscribe button and good luck.